As people, we are not patient. We live in a world where we want things now and we want them quick because we get them quick. We have fast food, we have the internet, we have everything. And that comes a problem when it comes to waiting. Even though we have the choice to wait patiently or to wait impatiently, we often choose to wait impatiently. We post something on Instagram and we expect likes right away. We send a text and we want a response right away. Our snap gets open and we want to snap right back. We submit that test and we want the grade right back. And while we often find ourselves waiting on these worldly things, we also often find ourselves waiting for God. But we're not the only ones that have waited for God. While we wait for his prayers to be answered, his goodness to be fulfilled, and his promises to come to life, David waited 15 years to become king. God promised that he would become king, and it wasn't until 15 years later that he was anointed. Abraham waited 25 years for his son Isaac to be born. In Genesis, we see God telling him that his name would be turned into great nations. Yet it wasn't until he was 100 years old that he had a son. Jesus, the son of God, the promised Messiah, had to wait 30 years to begin his ministry. Well, he devoted his life to God throughout those 30 years. He still didn't show that until he was 30. And often when we wait, waiting leads to doubt. We post that post on Instagram. No one likes it, and we doubt that it was good enough. We send that text. They don't respond, and we think that they're mad at us. Someone opens our snap, and they don't respond. We think that they hate us. So why does God make us wait? Well, God makes us wait to remind us who is in control, that God is in control and that we're not in control, that it's his timing and not our own timing. And God makes us wait to put us in a position where we have to have faith in him, where we have to trust him, where we have to have that hope in him. But what do we get out of waiting? When well, Isaiah 40, 30 through 31, it says that even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. And they will walk and not be faint. Those who wait on the Lord will have their strength renewed, which is something that we can't do on our own timing. So if you get anything out of this tonight, I want you to remember that the wait is worth it because his timing is perfect. The wait is worth it because his timing is perfect. If we have things going on our own time constantly, we want, things, we want everything now and we want them quick, it's not going to work out. But if we wait for God and we wait for his timing, they will work out. And if we've seen God do this over and over again, why can't we trust him now? Why can't we trust that it will happen again? And that even through the waiting, there is hope. And even through the waiting, we can trust him. So we have the choice to trust God or to doubt God. To go on our own time or to trust his time. To hope or to doubt. To trust or to fall. <laughs>